Hi, and welcome to the show buzz with our eye on what's new at the movies. This week, there's more than just the holiday feast on your table to indulge in. Here are some of the treats studios are serving up. I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Here comes the smolder. First up, Tangled. The purists may find the title a little hard to swallow. Fairy tale aficionados can rest assured most of the hair-raising escapades of Rapunzel remain intact in this updated version of the Grimm Brothers classic. Mandy Moore is the princess with the long tresses, and Zachary Levi is Flynn Rider, a bandit who wants to get her out of his hair. Also out, Love and Other Drugs. Jake Gyllenhaal is a Viagra salesman who gets hot and heavy with Anne Hathaway, a free-spirited artist who also happens to be living with Parkinson's disease. The pair get downright hot and steamy in this smart social satire that's being called this year's Up in the Air, and I recently sat down with the actors and asked them about the film and if they had any qualms about bearing almost everything. Uh, we've each done nudity before, and so it's, it's kind of... That uh, that initial first nerves nerves about it. We don't. I, I don't really have them that much anymore. It's mortifying to take your clothes off in front of people. I'm not, you know, inhuman. But it also I uh, have a deep respect for what we do, and as a result, I don't think about it in those terms. I mean, he he's a he's a guy who uh, is not very good at keeping a job, and um, but he is pretty good at picking up women, and that seems to be a specialty of his. And on the horizon, look out for the Black Swan, already generating Oscar buzz and starring Natalie Portman. Also in theaters this week, Burlesque, a campy musical starring Oscar winner Cher along with Christina Aguilera and set in Los Angeles. And that is the buzz for now. For more of my interview with Anne Hathaway and Jake Gyllenhaal and for a complete review of Love and Other Drugs, be sure to head to cbsnews.com. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.